Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another squad builder today. And before we get started, guys, just want to take some time out to thank Virtual Good Seller. If you guys are interested in purchasing any coins, link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and get on into the squad builder. We are doing a 451. This is probably one of the most unique and most creative teams that I've ever built. And it actually won't run you too many coins, surprisingly, especially if you don't buy the one inform player in this team, uh, who is an absolute monster. I absolutely loved using him, but uh, you guys will figure out who that is at the end of this video. So, starting off in goalkeeper, guys, we do have Frazier Forster, 74 diving, 78 reflexes, 77 handling, 41 speed, 66 kicking, and 77 positioning. Only cost me 1,600 coins, but he is being price locked. Or uh, at least being sold around 4,500. So 4,000 to 5,000 coins this man is being sold for on the Xbox 360, guys. But he does stand six foot seven. This guy's an absolute force in the net. Plays for Celtic, I do believe, in the SPL. And uh, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. So moving on to the first center back, we do have Milgru. Uh, or Mulgru, excuse me, guys. We do have Mulgru. He is one of my favorite center backs in this game. Absolutely played fantastic for me. This guy is just wonderful. Uh, 67 pace, guys. 65 dribbling. 60 shooting, 75 defense, 73 passing, and 74 heading. Now, his face card stats would suggest otherwise, but he's a very good center back, and I would definitely recommend going ahead and trying him out. Some of the things that he did in-game were um, absolutely amazing, and he was actually able to catch up to many of the strikers um, that I did play against. So, very, very good uh, center back for me, and I really enjoyed playing with him. So, moving on to the right back, guys. We do have the guy, or not the guy. We do have a man from the Pro League, Daniel Opari, guys. 90 pace, 70 dribbling, 49 shooting, 67 defense. 66 passing and 65 heading four star weak foot and two star skill moves guys only ran me 1400 coins and for a silver with 90 pace to be put at the right back for only 1400 coins that is a pretty much a steal of a deal not gonna lie he played fantastic once again uh very pacey very pacey right back and a uh, wonderful guy to have back there especially with 90 pace so moving on to the next center back guys we do have gavin gunning from dundee united in the spl as well 76 pace 60 dribbling 50 shooting 68 defense 54 passing and 81 heading only 800 coins for a 76 pace center back. He is an absolute beast, guys. Um, thinking about making an Irish team, trying to get him in there a little bit, see what we can do. Uh, but Gunning is an absolute monster, and this center back pairing was fantastic as well. Uh, Mulgrew, that guy just does wonders. I have no idea how he's that good, uh, but he's a very good player. He was a silver in FIFA 12, so he, they did upgrade him to a non rare gold, as you guys can see, for FIFA 13. So, moving on to the left back, we do have Barry Douglas from Dundee United as well. 75 pace, guys, 62 defense, 70 heading are fantastic stats for a bronze player, as well as 67 dribbling, which is pretty cool. Now, you guys may be wondering why this guy, he's an absolute monster, only 300 coins, can't go wrong, plus he gives uh, Gunning some very nice linkage, uh, both being Dundee United, but I I've used Douglas as well to link up with McKay Stevens, who is also a beast guy from uh, Dundee United. Five-star skiller, Scotland man, and uh, what a beast, guy! So moving on to our uh, left mid, we do have Pablo Armero. This man was actually a transfer from Udinese. He also has a card that is a left back from Udinese, but we got the Napoli version. Um, and this is this is a really cool card, to be honest. He has a very good stats for his card, but nonetheless, uh, he doesn't play that well because he has two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. 88 pace, guys, is excellent, but uh, imagine those stats on a left back. It would be absolutely ridiculous to use. Um, he was very good at left back, not so great at left mid. Uh, but you guys can also use Zuniga there as well, who is a Colombian left mid on Napoli, too. So, moving on to the cam, guys, we do have Mark Hamsik, one of, you know, a great player to play with an ultimate team. 75 pace, guys, 83 dribbling, 80 shooting, 69 defense, 82 passing, and 74 heading. Four-star weak foot and three-star skin moves, and he actually puts in a screamer for me um, above the box. This guy plays best at cam. Do not put him at CM. I would definitely not recommend that. He has the attacking mind. Um, he is a little slow nonetheless, but as you guys can see, look at the shot that he just did pull off. So when he's trailing behind the striker, especially in this formation, he's going to be able to put some goals in for you. So moving on to our center mid, guys. We do have Barum Kal Kayal, I want to pronounce it. Um, This guy has to be one of the hidden gems in Ultimate Team. He is fantastic. 80 pace, guys, 75 dribbling, 58 shooting, 74 defense, 74 passing, and 76 heading. Now, look at the stats on those. Look at the stats on this card. What an amazing player for a silver. Three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Only cost me about 500 coins, but was able to slot away six goals in nine games. So, what an absolutely epic player to play with. And, um, you know, his shooting is pretty low on his face card stats, uh, but the stuff that I pulled off like that, guys, uh, in game says says differently, in my opinion. Um, he was a very good player. Typically, I don't tend to score in my center mids too often. Uh, when it does come to playing with 
with uh, you know this type of formation or any type of formation basically because I used mainly the attackers up top for instance in the 4-3-3 I usually score with the striker and the two wingers 4-3-2 uh, when I usually score with the two forwards and the striker uh, but nonetheless Kyle was able to put in a lot of goals for me it was very surprising uh, basically just used him for chemistry purposes but nonetheless he was fantastic and a very good player to have and beautiful nice little skill move right there to a uh, beautiful finesse shot as well try to roulette uh, you, this is what you get with him out of three stars and he's going to bury it into the back of the net even though he does get hit so very good player would definitely go ahead and uh, recommend trying him out as he is probably one of the most unknown players um, that I did believe that that plays excellent in this game so moving on to the right mid guys we do have Maor Bart Buzaglo the guy from the pro league the Israeli uh, 74 pace guys 71 dribbling 70 shooting 32 defense 66 passing and 59 heading four star weak in three star skimmers which is absolutely pretty good 300 coins this man did run us I do believe he was converted from a right wing uh, so I bought him in the right wing and actually converted uh, converted him to a right mid um, so he will run you a little bit more expensive in the right mid position now he did his job excellently but he did only slot away one goal for me like I said before guys I typically do not score with the right mids and the left mids um, in this formation especially in 3-5-2 as well so moving on to our camp guys we do have Ma or Melixen this guy is phenomenal. I cannot say enough about him. I just did a hidden gem uh, review. Kind of the hidden gems, guys, if you guys don't know what that is. Uh, basically, I go ahead and find a player that is excellent that uh, most people do not know about and is very cheap. So um, that's basically what I did with him. An annotation will be in the upper right-hand corner, guys. 89 pace and 80 dribbling on a 74 overall rated uh, cam. It's just absolutely phenomenal. To go along with the four-star weak foot and the four-star skill moves, this guy is just overall well-rounded. And, I mean, just look at the finishing on this man. Absolutely epic. So good. Um, he, is, he is fantastic. Now, if you guys did see, I did buy him for 1,400 coins, which is a little bit more expensive than I would have liked to, but he was in my formation and would rather have uh, just, you know, bit, bit the uh, nail and just kind of bought him for a little bit overpriced. So I had to sell him for at a loss, but it's okay, guys. He is worth about 600 to 750 coins. So this guy, I mean, I can, I, I just can't say enough about him. He is a fantastic player. I'm definitely going to be looking at uh, putting him in some more teams, trying to link him up with some Polska players. Uh, I have a few ideas what I can do, but I definitely want him in more of my teams. Um, he just put away so many goals, and he is just a fantastic player. Definitely go ahead and check out the review I did on him. He is absolutely wonderful. I mean, I cannot say one bad thing about him. The only thing is that, you know, he does have a pretty crummy first touch, but that's because he is a silver. Uh, but with 80 dribbling as a silver, an unknown Polska Liga player, it is just absolutely epic. So um, this this finish is just not even, that's not even allowed. That's not real. Um, it is just incredible. So one thing I will say, though, is that he is getting transferred to League One. Um, so his price will be going up. This one will probably, probably be getting taken out of packs. This one probably necessarily won't go up in price. It'll probably go up to around 1,000 coins um, because no one wants to use this one they would rather use the league one uh, player but a silver in league one is going to run you pretty expensive especially seeing as this man's stats are insane at the 89 pace the 80 dribbling the four star skill moves and the four star weak foot once again showing you his class uh, weak foot at four stars from the outside of the box he was just fantastic so moving on to our last player in this hybrid guys we do have in form Cavani the matador the beast from Napoli as well to give that nice little linkage to Hamsik 86 pace guys 79 dribbling 86 shooting 65 defense 68 passing and 86 heading what an absolutely fantastic player to play with so a uh, story behind him guys uh, three star skill moves and three star weak foot just want to show you guys um, actually was 129,000 coins that I bought him for but I was actually Actually able to sell him on for a little bit of a profit which was pretty nice to be honest uh, because always selling your cards on for a profit is definitely a good thing in ultimate team so this is a great example of how his pace um, helped in his upgrade from his normal card so as you guys can see he now outpaced defenders a little bit better than he used to but basically the story behind Cavani becoming one of my favorite players in ultimate team is I did a series in FIFA 12 called underrated nations built a Uruguayan team and uh, Cavani was the striker for that team and he played absolutely phenomenal for me and I uh, really just truly enjoyed playing with him he just he was able to put, uh, you know, goals away like it was nothing, and he does the same in this game, uh, if not better. I mean, if he was four-star skills, this guy would be going for a lot more coins. Um, I do believe he, his regular card is around three to 5,000 now, which is just absolutely insane for an 86 overall rated player to be only that much. Um, is just absolutely beyond me, and to pair him up with some of the Serie A strikers is crazy, but the inform Cavani was definitely worth it for me. I definitely like the pace um, increase. Um, he has better finishing, better shooting, and uh, just what an absolutely fantastic card to finish off this hybrid. So, uh, 
Last goal of the hybrid, guys. Uh, very nice goal right here by Cavani. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Uh, I definitely enjoyed playing with this team. It was very cool to try out some of the players that I did. And uh, Cavani is just a boss, and he is going to slot that away. So thank you guys for watching so much. I definitely do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys do leave a like. I think this is one of the most creative hybrids um, that I've ever built. And I, I do think it's pretty cool if I do say so myself. A lot of cool links, a lot of good players if I do say so. And a very, very cool squad. So thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do leave a like as it does help my channel out. And uh, you guys have been fantastic. I, I'm just at a loss of words right now. So thank you so much for everything. But until next time, guys, this has been Urso, and have a good one.